Welcome to the taught section of this course. This video we're going to be talking about user cron tabs and the user table. Cron utility is an offensive way to scheduling routine background jobs at specific time or day on an ongoing basis. And cron is the name of program that enables Unix users to execute commands or scripts. Let's go back to our system here or our command prompt. Cron job allows Linux and Unix users like me to run commands or scripts. Cron is one of the most useful tools in a Linux or Unix-like operating system. It is usually used for system administrative jobs and backups or cleaning our slash tmp slash directories and more. To list our cron tabs, we can just do cron tab dash l. We don't have a cron tab. That is why we have the second video to show us how to edit our contact files. But other thing I would like to show you, this list of here, we have a cat slash etsy slash contab. And I will explain what this actually means. So when we go back to our Linux terminal, we can switch a sudo, sudo to, and type in our password, then enter. All right, we are now sudo. We just clear this off. Now, we all know that to view this file, you need to be a sudo user. So we can just do cat, etsy, and cron tab. Here we are. Let me just scroll this up a little bit. The first one here, we have a shell. This is where our cron runs under as the shell. The next one is the path. And uh, this contains directory, which will be in the search path for cron. It is like when you run a program in a directory like slash user slash cog slash bin file. And the next one we have a melto, which is equals to root. This represents whoever runs an output to the variable of this and which is the root user. And that is why you have a root user over here. And the other one we're supposed to get over here, there's another one called home. Um, this is the home directory that is used for cron. That is, if it is unspecified, it will be default to entry in the slash etsy slash password. So as you can see here, we're still going to explain more details on this in the coming videos. But I just want you to catch a glimpse or understanding of what this file actually means before proceeding. And if we go back to our slide over here, we can see cron is the name of program that enables Unix users to execute commands or scripts groups of commands automatically at a specified time or date. And cron is a daemon, which means that it only needs to be started once and will lay dormant until it is acquired. Now, on most Linux distribution, cron D is automatically installed and entered into startup script. We can see the PS aux and the pipe grep to cron D that we have over here. Uh, this is showing the list of the root user is under and also the error user. 